Konnichiwa and I can the knife back again here and today I am here to talk about the 13th Doctor now what I, I can't remember her name on top of my hat but it is finally a woman now this is pretty good for Doctor Who to embrace to equality and all that and blah 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 but um, I can't help but feel it's outdone by people like to be politically correct you know I can't help but feel like it's that but but I'm happy and I think it's great for Doctor Who to embrace equality and all, all diversity and all that I'm, I'm so happy like the Doctor is going to be a woman the 13th Doctor and look, Doctor Who's been around since the 1960s and all my days I, 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 it's going to be crazy I cannot wait for the Christmas special which will be coming later this year right, well, if I can get a picture of her up um, then I, I'll be able to do it one minute give us a second Do -do 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 -do. I cannot find it now. <laughs> but I know her name's Jodie Whittaker, uh, uh, something like that. Her name's Jodie, I think. If I'm wrong, I apologise, but um, it is canon now because Doctor Who has confirmed it. Um, right, so if I go to my gallery, I'm uh, sorry, still getting used to the, the new tablet. Uh, let's see what I know. Where's my gallery? Gallery! Gallery! <laughs> And here we are. Hmm, let's see. Ah ha ha! So I don't know how this is going to look on camera. So that is now the 13th Doctor, which I managed to uh, get a picture of her, thanks to the Doctor Who um, fan page I follow. And, and I really do think it is great to embrace equality. I know I said that, I know I said that, but um, I like it when they do things like this. Now, I can see... Now, I'm going to talk about both sides, and like, I'm not bothered that she's a woman, and you've got the people where it, it's bothering people, so... Let me explain, like, so whenever shows or fan base things have done this, like, such as Spider-Man, like, when he was going to be played by a black guy, like, like, like when he thought he was going to be black, when, when it was like, I think it was um, last year time, like, when people were thinking, oh, no, uh, Peter's going to be black, I can't remember when that was, um, like, of course, um, it is out of equality. I, I do see where it just comes out like it's kind of a forced upon through equality. So I see why people can think that. And I see why um, they do think that I like replace a white character with a black character. Now, the thing is, though, um, like, this is how I see Spider-Man. Spider-Man has always been... I know, I know I'm going to be talking about Spider-Man and Doctor Who in this video. So you, you guys can get a, a kind of an understanding, like... So, like, Spider-Man, like, was favourite, like, thinking he's going to be played by someone who is black, like, the new version of Spider-Man who came in 2012. Now, to me, I feel like it is kind of, like, forced upon to make um, white characters black or female. Now, the thing is, like, gender benders is a lot, like, in, in like, fanfic, so I'm not bothered about gender benders, but then when, when they're changing the race and completely changing the actual character, um, then... We don't see a white black panther. We don't get a character who's already black and would turn them white. Because you'd be called a racist if you do that. Now, but it's alright to get a white character and turn him black. That's not racist at all. Which, which, the world is crazy at that, so, yeah. Anyway, so, the the reason why um, I think Doctor Who, uh, Doctor Who, yeah, Doctor Who, yeah, I've done this out for quality and I think it'd be great for a uh, female doctor to take up the role and I hope she leaves up like to me Peter Capaldi he has done a absolute great doctor I I, I really enjoyed the time and it, it, it's sad to see him go um so yeah but, uh, but he wants to move on in his career and do more acting blah 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 I think that's what he said I, I'm not too sure I, I, I'm just going to like videos I've watched so I can't really give any sources so don't take my word for it, um, you know what I mean? So if I can't provide the score, so I could be chatting shit to you. Or I might not. Um, so anyway. Um, so yeah, so Doctor Who, so Peter Paul J's moving on um, in his acting career and blah, blah. So yeah, so bye-bye. Mate, he's been a great Doctor. I've enjoyed watching him on screen. But the Doctor, I will never forget. And the Doctor... I love the most. It has to be the tenth Doctor. I mean, I know I know that's like, uh, one of the most fan favorite ones, like such as like Tom Baker as well. Um, but it it 
that, like, to me, like, each Doctor, they're bringing their own unique role. I like we can see, like, Doctor Who, they kind of, like, play around with it, like, he don't want to change, like, because the Doctor, like, we've seen the Doctor regenerate. It, the Doctor don't really, like, regenerate because they don't know who he's going to become. It's like when, when the 11th Doctor came about, uh, when I was watching that when I was younger, I, I felt a bit, like, I felt a bit upset because, unfortunately, my favourite Doctor went, um, because I, I, I was so used to um, David Tennant, and, you know what I mean, but, can't have him forever, unfortunately, but, you know what I mean, so, like, so, and then Matt Smith came, and he, he brought, like, more of a, more youthful, like, more, f um, younger, like, a more, oh, I, I don't want to get the wrong word here, so, um, he brought more of a, uh, more childish side to it, in a sense, but, but I did enjoy it, the stories he had, the Pongs, I love the Pongs, the Pongs. Uh, and also like different characters, blah blah blah, like River Song and all that. So anyway, and then we had um, Peter Paul J. He came after that. Now he he, he kind of um, he did more references about all the other Doctors who came before him, and now he don't want to change again because when the Doctor changes, he don't know who he's going to become. Like the thing is, like part of the Doctor, oh, like when they regenerate, like when they regenerate, part of them dies, and it's like a new personality what comes. Um, into play and you don't know what that it, you don't know what you're going to become like to the doctor it's complete mystery and he cannot really like control it unless um well when the eighth doctor regenerated he, he could choose what he looked like i i cannot remember i think there was another doctor who did that uh, i think it was the second one when he again i'm not too sure not too sure um so yeah so Anyway, I know, I know I keep um, rambling, but like I'm just saying, like when all the different doctors come, like um, I, I watch them, I give them a chance. If I like them, I like them. Don't I don't like to me like when when it was um, the ninth doctor, Christopher Reckleson. That that was great. I mean, he was a, he brought back a nice doctor, like come back for the new fresh generation, for because Doctor Who was cancelled since I think it was 1998. Because um, the eighth Doctor only did the one Doctor Who film, and and it was cancelled until 2005. And then I remember watching it like I, I, I was I was seven at the time, and I remember watching it first there and, and I instantly that moment, and I, I wanted to watch more like see, seeing that like Doctor Who like all time like it wasn't really time travel in that episode particularly, but. Like knowing that he's gonna be time traveling, going on adventures and all that. Like, what kid wouldn't like that? I mean, like obviously you don't like Doctor Who and you're not a fan, and you, like you may stop watching after ten or something like that. It's completely fine. I mean, like, cause it's hard to keep Doctor Who like interested. Like, you, you got to think like there's so many kind of episodes we've got to do and original content. So anyway, um, so I say good luck to the thirteenth Doctor. I cannot wait to see her in action. Uh, and judge her on her performance. I'm not going to judge beforehand, because that, that just, um, that's what small-minded people do. Like, because, like I said, you've got them people who who are dedicated fans, like, he should be played by a man, um, sh shouldn't have a woman in. And then you got them people like, you know what? Can't wait to see the uh, real 34 version of this. <laughs> anyway, um, and you know what I mean, like, uh, like me, I'm just liking the bit, like, I don't like, oh, you know what, yeah, I look forward to it, like, like, them people that are like, yeah, I want to watch it, oh, I can't, we can't wait, and you got the, you be, you be man, just saying, just saying, but, but I'm not here in the middle, um, so I'm not going to judge her beforehand, because I will not, I don't do that, I always give it a chance, it's like, um, what, like, Spider-Man, like, Tobey Maguire will always be my favourite Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield came along, I was like, a bit like obviously because you you want it to stay, stay the same actor who you're used to, but unfortunately can't always do it. So I I, I don't really take sides. I was just like, you know what? I'm not I'm not going to judge beforehand. New Spider-Man film could be shit. It could be good. I'm going to watch it, enjoy it for myself. I'm not going to listen to anyone else see what they say. They'd be like, oh it's crap, oh it's crap. It's like me. I like the green. I like the film Green Lantern. Yeah, I said it. I like the Green Lantern film. It's absolutely good. I don't give a shit. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, so, like with Spider-Man, like, when we had, uh, when Tom Holland came along, and I uh, was like, yeah, I saw him in Civil War, so like, you know what, he, he's portraying a good Spider-Man, like, 
more the sarcastic side of Spider-Man. Like, to, um, this how, like, this is in the sense how I see it. Right, we saw more the Peter Parker side of things with Tobey Maguire. We saw more the scientific side with Andrew Garfield. And with Tom Holland, we're seeing the actual young Spider-Man, which is mainly in the, um, films and, uh, films, uh, in the cartoons and comics. So we're seeing a more of a sarcastic side, even though Andrew Garfield did more of that as well, but I feel like Tom Holland is doing more of the sarcastic side, but we're, we're, st we're seeing some of the science, like, uh, like I've seen the film Homecoming, so I'm not gonna give away spoilers or anything, I'm just saying, like we see him doing some science stuff, but not as much as how um, Garfield did it, in a sense, um, and, and oh my days! If you haven't seen Spider-Man: Homecoming, I recommend watching it. I know I've been talking about Spider-Man and Doctor Who all in one video, uh, but I like to explain like why I like different actors coming in, like in a sense to hopefully make sense. And if you guys are uh, fans of Doctor Who and you enjoy watching that, I say don't judge her beforehand. See how she performs first. Like don't. Don't don't knock her down and don't like don't be like be so like to me I don't get hyped and I don't not real bummed out. I'm just like I'm not bothered. I just wanna see a performance. That's all I wanna see. If, if I like it, I'll say, you know what, she she done the blah 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 like I said about Peter Cordray like doing all the references about all the other doctors who came before him, Max Smith doing a more younger childish doctor doc the tenth doctor do more of the scientific side at uh, all my day and ninth doctor like bringing back a more of a um I say a mature doctor, like he played like an older doctor, even though he's a young doctor, he played like an older doctor in like in the sense, like that's how I see it, like in your opinion, like nine, all these doctors could be shit to you, but in my opinion, each doctor ha has their own unique role to play, like I said, when he regenerates, you don't know what you're going to get, well, we know what we get beforehand, but the doctor, like, how to keep it in the show going, and it's like with Spider-Man, like, before Homecoming, didn't really know how Tom Holland is going to perform. He held up strong in Civil War. I say in Civil War, he, he held up his end. Um, even though we only saw like 10 minutes of him in in Civil War. But then we got a film for him and I watched it. And it's getting praise for all the um, diversity they have in it. It's like um, the bully in it, he's black. Um, Love interest, is black. Peter's best mate, he's black. So pretty much everyone's getting turned black in it. Precise Spider-Man. We keep him a white man. Well, like, to be honest, in the comics and all the, like, the cartoons and all that, Peter is white and I see in the sense why people like want to keep it the original and uh, want the Spider-Man to stay a white man. Same with the Doctor. I completely 100% see the side of that and I see the side of the people who, who embrace um, the gender benders and different like um, characters what come in like to me I'm always sat in the middle like I think it like my old thing like I've seen him in um, the cartoon Spider-Man I've I forgot what the show's called but I remember watching him in it and enjoy like I, d I did like him don't get me wrong but I I'm not gonna I don't want to sound racist here but I'd rather keep it Peter Parker in the cinema rather than um, my old Anyway, and also, so, like I said, Jodie, I think her name's Jodie, uh, I, I say good luck to her, hope she holds up, and, yeah, if those who are, are hating, like, it's most likely won't watch this video, but if she does watch this video, I say good luck, I hope you do a great doctor, and, yeah, you're going to put on your own unique uh, uh, opinion on Doctor Who, like, your own, every doctor does the own unique thing, because they're all different people, so, yeah, I'm going to say... I think I repeat myself like so much. I am so sorry if I did. I'm going to say good night and farewell on that con. I'm going to see you all next time. Bye.